yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be like I would assume it's going to be like another PUBG mobile type game, which obviously That's we've correct. seen a lot of we've we've seen a lot of success around PUBG mobile. I think it's going to be hard to match that, but it's definitely one to to keep an eye on moving forward. So you're asking which mobile games are going to drop off this next year versus grow? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. Which ones are going to drop off, and are, yeah. are there any that are out there now that are just going to continue to trend upwards? Yeah, so as far as mobile games are concerned, there's the big ones and then there's nothing else, basically. So, and the big ones have always been the big ones and they are, they'll they never go away. Uh, they just, well, they just slowly fade over time. So mobile gaming is not a space that has big shakers and movers, generally speaking. You're gonna have uh, whatever games are at the top of mobile gaming, they are the, and, and parents got some of them pulled up on the screen here. They stay at the top and they don't move ever. PUBG Mobile will be at the top for years. Free Fire will be at the top for years. Le Mobile Legends will be at the top for years. Arena of Val Valor, same thing, etc. And also on YouTube, Supercell titles like Brawl Stars, like Clash of Clans, um, those types of games will be at the top of YouTube for like for years because they've built an incredible business, because they built an incredible marketing engine where they pump millions of dollars into marketing into these games each month and they get more than that in millions back each month in, in return. And so that's why mobile games are so interesting is if you can end up covering a mobile game that's sustainable and is big today, it will probably stay big for five or more years because it's so financially viable. That's why mobile games are more interesting than PC and console games in a lot of cases is they're actually more stable in terms of the audience and the marketing because they make more money. Mobile gaming makes way more money than PC and console titles. And so I think these top games you see on Facebook gaming, they're all going to stay here. None of them are going to move. You might see Wild Rift slide into the top here on Facebook gaming. Uh, as far as YouTube is concerned, whatever the big popular um, Blizzard games are like Diablo Immortal or any Supercell games that come out could break through on YouTube. Other than that, mobile gaming is super stable. The ones you see at the top are the ones at the top. They aren't going, they don't, there is no sudden decline. The only time a mobile game suddenly declines, Ross, is if they run out of money. Ooh. If the game stops making money, then it suddenly declines because mobile games popularity is completely propped up on the millions they dump into influencer marketing, streamer marketing, YouTuber marketing, and direct advertising, which happens daily forever. With, with PC and console games like Cyberpunk 2077, they usually launch the game real big with a bunch of money up front, and then they don't really have any marketing after that until they have a DLC to sell. Mobile games are completely different. They launch the game and then they drop millions every month into infinity if the game makes a ton of cash. That makes mobile games even better for you guys, creators. You can build a, a channel around a mobile game and be like, cool, I'm gonna sit on this for three years, five years, potentially, because it's just gonna be a cash cow forever. Does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense.